Hello and welcome to my channel and this is part one of two, hopefully just two, it's not going to take me another, it should probably just take me another day to finish this. This is a scratch board bird. I'm pretty sure it's a Harris Hawk, but I could be wrong. I don't think I am, but I could be wrong. But this is sped up because even this amount of footage, whatever, how long this is, five minutes, whatever like that, this is like two days, probably like, I don't know how many hours of footage, it's way too long. But, so I'm just using scratch board. Now, this is just what I could find and I've had it for years. And what I'm using as a tool is a, what is this? This is one of like a, what do you call them? I can't think of what they're called. Ah, um, a, uh, what does it say? Oh, it says, uh, uh it says what? Uh, it's, a, it's a graphite holder, we'll just hit. And inside that one it says 2.0 holder sharp pencil. It's made by, I don't know, I can't read it, it's too damn shiny. But that's not the point. The point of what's in it, It what's in it is a tungsten, I think it is, welding rod that hubby sharpened up so it's very, very pointy. And it does this, normally I use it for etching, which is why this actually, this is the second of these I've tried because when I first one I tried, I went back to like how I do with etching because with etching, you take the lines away, they get filled with ink, and then it's black. You print it or whatever color you're using for ink. This, on the other hand, is the opposite. So I had to restart it because I come within like two seconds, I fucked up and could not fix it. It was too beyond repair. And with this, I messed up the right eye if you're looking at the screen. So what I did is I took some ink to it and covered up, was able to cover up that, thankfully. Hubby suggested that, even though I remember somebody saying you could try that anyway, but it, it worked. I had to wait an extra half a day for it to dry, which is another reason why this is not complete today. But I thought, I've got this, f um, not half done, but a third done, we'll say. <laughs> so I'll put a video up because I'm gonna try to keep to Wednesdays and Saturdays getting something up, you know? I'm gonna try. Like I said, unless it's really sunny out, and it's been really sunny here in Scotland the last three, four days, so I've been out in the backyard trying to get some sun, because vitamin D and MS go together, but I can't think of what to say to this. I'm rambling. I'm not talking about the art. I'm just rambling about random sight. But, so I'm working on the, what am I, the mouth at this point. And the only problem with me working on this is I had to find an angle that where you could see what I was doing. So often you'll see me shift the board just to kind of see, so people could see what I'm doing. Which made it actually harder for me to work, but what's the point of making a video if you can't see what I'm doing, at least some of the time. Um, and then I'm just adding some, making the, what is that? The, I don't know what that yellow bit on most birds is called. It's not not necessarily yellow, but it's where the nose, the nostrils, the state's nose. I'm making that lighter because it would be lighter than the rest of the bird. The bird, the, if you look at the bird, the right side is quite dark and in shadow, which is why I picked this because the left side is lighter and then, you know, a bit of a contrast between the sides. Now, the photo reference for this was taken at the Deer Center in Fife. Not 100% sure where it is, but we went and got to fly, uh, I don't think it's this Harris Hawk, but we got to fly a Harris Hawk and feed it, you know, like, little, um, pinky mice and stuff like that. Um, and then I held a bunch of other birds, which was cool. Well, I held a, a eagle owl. Bloody big bird! Also, an eagle owl little chick, it was so cute and fuzzy. It was very cute and fuzzy and very, like, what the hell is going on? I was sleeping, you woke me the damn up. I didn't, the handler did. <laughs> And then I was just asking questions because I love birds. I'm fascinated by birds, but birds and uh, I don't know. I mean, I draw, oh, I draw a lot of birds, birds and horses, but I don't have a horse and it really expands up here. Well, it well, depends where you are, but yeah. And I'm just adding highlights now. I should probably talk about the art, I figure, rather than rambling about crap, but adding highlights to the head and highlights underneath because the bird is kind of like a little bit wet looking underneath its chin, so I had to add some highlights to that. And I need to lighten them later on, but I didn't want to lighten them too much because then I can't fix it so much. Like I fix it sort of, like I fix the eye, which I'm not finishing until I get more of the right side done in the shadow. Because I don't want to mess it up again. <laughs> okay, then I'll start crying and that'll be really bad. But um, yeah, so and then just kind of like this is his feather or her feather, I don't really know. There wasn't a huge size difference, I think, I can't remember. But, then adding some highlights to his head, 
because part of his head is quite backlit or side lit, I guess. One or the other, I can't remember which. And then, like I said, back to the chin. And now I'm just adding shading to underneath his eye, um, which you can kind of see here. I probably should maybe have darkened that. But this is the finished project. P project? No, this is not the finished project. <laughs> this is it, a third finished, roughly. Give or take, I'm hoping. I'm hoping to have it done tomorrow. I'm crossing my fingers that I'll have it done tomorrow. So, I will post part two tomorrow. So come back and see that, please. And if you have any suggestions or comments about what this bird needs, please let me know.